Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy, Lionface203, back at it again with the video of the day, and yeah, so I made a video earlier today talking about um how I am, how about my channel and another sensitive topic, but link, link will be in the description to that video, so I just wanted to check it out, but today I just wanted to also go over... The Funko San Diego Comic Con 2019 pops. Now, now I gotta say this before I get started. Started. I'm serious right now. The, the last video that I posted will not be monetized. This video will though because it's not a sensitive topic or anything. Nothing sensitive about this. So, yeah. But if you want to learn more, link a link will be in the description for this the video that I just posted. Um. So I will be back for a while now. I, I decided I want to come back. So, let's start off with the Funko Pops for San Diego Comic Con 2019. So, we got a 1,000 piece Louis Blue Raspberry, which will be San Diego Comic Con only. Now, they did this with Emerald City as well. They did um a pop, an, another, a Sour Patch Kid as like their Emerald City Comic Con this year. Um, They did um Sour Patch Kid, a green Sour Patch Kid. And. They decided just, you know what, they're going to say fuck you, and they just made a pop pop that was exclusive to Emerald City Comic Con. This is the same thing. This is basically a fuck you to people who want to collect the set, but it does look pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Next up, we have Peter Pez, which is a Toy Tokyo exclusive. I love the Funko Pop Pez dispensers, but I don't see myself getting this pop. One, because it's because of the Toy Tokyo, which... I'm, I never do my shopping online. I go in store. That's it. That's all I do. I go in the store. I do not stay up till midnight and like fucking do that stuff. I'm not really like an online shopper. I'm more of an in store person. And I do like to shop in the stores and stuff. So I do like that. Like that they're making this. But this is going to be really rare. I'm telling you right now. If it's through Toy Tokyo, it's rare. Next, we, we have... I do like the style of that one, though. Let's go back up there for a minute. I do like it. We have you selling little Pop Pez. Pretty cool. I like it. Next up, we have the San Diego Comic-Con mascot. A toucan. This is this is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I do... I do like the fact that they're doing someone that I didn't even know about. They did do Otter Pops, but that doesn't really count. It's more like a convention one. So, that's really cool that they're doing a toucan. And this is going to be shared with the Funko Shop. Next up, we have Wong from Avengers Endgame. Now, this is going to be shared with Walgreens. But, I do not like it. Well, I do I do like it, but... It doesn't look like, look like Wong from the movie. It's... I, I don't know. I know what it is. It... I think it's like the head. It's the head of the pop. And yeah, I do not like it one bit. Well, I do like the pop, but <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Next, this is a must-have for me. A teal chrome Batman. Now, I know most of their bat the chrome Batmans have gone to Toy Tokyo, but there was one instance that they went to Barnes & Noble. I never got to get it. But this time, I might be able to get it because it's at GameStop. Now, I do like the Chrome Pops. I'm also going for the Hot Topic Vegeta. Or Vegeta. Whatever you call it. I'm not really big on the Dragon Ball franchise, but... I'll talk about that more in in when I get to it. But, this is Batman. Batman. It's Teal Chrome Batman. And it's pretty cool. I like it. I also like this Batman with the San Diego Comic Con bag. It's really interesting to see... See, but I think they just did, to be honest, I like it a little bit. Because the fact that he has the classic head on, but a different design on the body, I don't know. I do like the body design, though. It's really cool. I like it. And this is going to be shared with the Funko Shop. Next up, we have Minerva from Games, which will from Captain Mar Marvel. I saw this movie and started getting into the MCU. This is the movie that made me like the MCU. 
So I'm I'm just saying. I really I don't know. I think I was more of a DC fan, but their movies have been so terrible lately. Well, except for their latest three, Wonder Woman, Justice League, not really. Not Justice League. Justice League. Um, Aquaman and um, Shazam were all, were all good from what I've heard. So I haven't, I haven't actually seen the movies myself. But yeah, I might, I might pick this one up as well. No, I'm not gonna pick it up. <laughs> uh, next up we have an orange Conan O'Brien, which will be shared with GameStop as well. So this is Conan O'Brien. He's orange. I mean, if it was chrome, I would get it, but it's not chrome, so it, it looks more like a prototype, so maybe I would get it, but it's not on my top tier list. It's not on my top tier, so I, I'm not going to be able to get that. So, what's next? We got Dean, which will be shared with, from Disenchantment, which will be shared with Barnes & Noble, and it's her and her wedding outfit. Now, I've seen this show. I didn't really catch up on it. I'm more into, like, Castlevania right now. I'm into that, because the show's creator, Adi Shankar, makes some really good YouTube fan films. He recently made one about Pokemon, which I'll put a link in the description, but but there's a warning to that. If if you don't like, don't like violent stuff, don't watch it, because it's, like, it's super violent, and it's based on a kid show, so, yeah. Yeah, this one's going to be shared with Barnes & Noble, The Bean. So, yeah. Also going to be shared with Barnes & Noble is this P-Ting. I, I, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. It's It sounds weird, but... To me, it sounds weird, but... I'm just going to say it. P-Ting. That's how I'm going to say it. Don't don't judge. If, if you're a Doctor Who fan, you probably know what this is. But I'm just saying, I, I don't... I don't really connect with... The, um... The... Barnes, I mean the Doctor Who franchise. So this is not on my radar either. But if it is on your radar, it's a Barnes Noble exclusive. And sorry I'm late to this, but but I I've been I've been busy late. I've been my computer. I need to get a new computer, and it took took us a while to get it. So yeah. Next up we have a Super Saiyan Vegeta, the Chroma, which is on my radar. Which just like the Batman, is is on my radar. And this one's going to be shared with Hot Topic. I like it because it's chrome. That's the only reason. That's that's why I'm getting this. Because it's chrome. I like it. I like the chrome ones. And the gold ones. And the flock ones. <laughs> okay. I, I like a lot of them. But <laughs> Next up we have Gokens as a ghost. Now, this one's going to be shared with Box Lunch. Which, I don't have a Box Lunch in my area. So, I'm not... Well, I do have one like 30 minutes away from my house, but it's in the Massachusetts area, so we don't really go there that often. And yeah, that's that. This is gonna be shared with Box Lunch, so that's pretty cool. Um, next up we have Nagini from Fantastic Beasts: The Crimes of Grindelwald, and I don't know. It it looks kind of weird to me. I don't like it. It. I've never watched any of the Harry Potter movies or the Fantastic Beasts movies. Don't don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay? I'm just saying. I, I don't watch that shit. But, but yeah. This one's going to be shared with Barnes & Noble if you want to pick it up. So, next, this is a must-have for me, too. Because I love Forrest Gump. That was, that's my favorite movie right now. Uh, well, not right now, but it was it's a good movie. I mean, it's the only non-superhero action movie that I actually would watch. Like, I watch it a lot in school, and I never get bored of it. So, I used to watch it when I was in high school. They would put it on, and I would never get bored of it. It was a very good movie. Remember this other movie? Remember the Titans? They would repeat that on... Play that, like, every year. And I'm like, no, I don't want to watch that shit. Like, seriously. I mean, don't don't... I'm not trying to judge anybody who watches Remember the Titans because a lot of people in my school like that movie, but I preferred Forrest Gump. And this one was with the beard. And this one's also going to be shared with Box Lunch, which is kind of disappointing. So, yeah. Next up, we have the Glow in the Dark Loot Llama. Not really into Fortnite anymore. I was into Fortnite, but Apex Legends just came out and it just soared me out the window. It was like. But I do still play Fortnite on my Switch. I'm not going to lie. Because um, 
I just want to play a Battle Royale game. But now Realm Royale came out on Switch, and I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to play this. I mean, not Fortnite, but <laughs> Realm Royale. Realm Royale. It's funny, because there's, like, chickens in it, and it's like, it's like when you, when you, when they almost kill you, they turn you into a chicken, so it's, it's kind of funny, but, yeah. Next up, we got this creepy-ass fucker named HR Puffin Stuff. Which is going to be shared with the Funko Shop. Don't really want to look at this guy. So, next, we have Rita Skeeter from Barnes & Noble. I mean, from Harry Potter. Which is going to be shared with Barnes & Noble. It's from Barnes & Noble, yeah. Rita Skeeter is the Barnes & Noble mascot. <laughs> no, she's not. She's from Harry Potter, too. Told you, I'm not really a big fan of the Harry Potter franchise. But this next pop I might be might be on my radar because of the fact that it is... It is... I won't tell you guys why, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. I don't. I like the design; it's really cool. Next up, this is not my radar. Flock Flockies. It's a cool pop overall, but I don't really collect the Harry Potter line, so I was like, no, I can't. I can't do it because this is. But I do like this. I like all the flock pops. Like, like I have a flocked flock Doug. And I have like. A lot of flock ones. I really do. But this this is a Hot Topic exclusive. And this one's on my radar. The next ones are on my radar. But my chances are the two. There's two and three parts to this. So there's a green chrome. Green chrome rat. Green chrome rat think. Which, which I like the design of this. I like the chromeness. I like this gray chrome one too. It's going to dark. I don't know. I might, I might have to get it, but I don't know. But Toy Tokyo is getting it, so it's probably not on my radar. This one, so the other two are on my radar, but I probably won't be able to get them. So, and they're all shared with Toy Tokyo. That's that's why. Next up, we have Shark Biting Quint from Jar Biting Quint from Jaws. Now this, this is a um, this is a really cool pop because you look at the blood on that bad boy. It's really cool seeing all the blood come out and stuff like it's just a really cool pop in general. And this one's gonna be shared with Entertainment Earth. Next up we have Gamora from the comic version of Guardians of the Galaxy, not the movie version. And this one does actually look pretty cool. I never read the comic, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't even have guessed this would have been been one of the pops, but this one's gonna be shared with Hot Topic, so that's cool. Next up, we have Man Thing from Marvel. <laughs> this looks like a knockoff of Swamp Thing. I don't like it. I really don't. It's pretty cool looking, but I'd rather have Swamp Thing in my pop collection. So this one's going to be shared with Entertainment Earth. That's cool. Next up, we have a Moana and Pua on Boat. From, and this one's going to be shared with Box Lunch. And this one is pretty cool because... Well, I don't like it, actually. I'm not a big Disney fan, to be honest with you. I'm not really big on the Disney stuff. So, yeah, that's that's another pop that's not on my radar, but it is going to be shared with Box Lunch if you want it. Next up, from Neon Genesis, I've, I've been, I can't pronounce that. It's a Suka, and she'll be shared with Hot Topic. She's cute, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't get her as an actual pop. So, yeah, that one's going to be shared with Hot Topic if you want it. Next up, for all those Office Space fans, we got a Think Geek exclusive. Think Geek. I mean, Sticky Note Man. Think Geek. Yeah, Think Geek exclusive Think Geek. <laughs> um, yeah. So, this is a Sticky Note Man, and it's really cool because it looks like a Sticky Note. That's cool. I like it. Next up, we have McCree, and he'll be shared with GameStop. I'm just going to go through the rest of these quick because I have to be somewhere soon. So, um, yeah. We got Astronaut Snoopy, which will be shared with Barnes & Noble. Two Rick and Morty Pops, which is on my radar. FYE and GameStop. Go Rick with Gold in the Dark one, which I'm not going to go for because I already have the common. So, okay. Um, next. Now we'll be shared with PX Previews. Probably GameStop and some other comic book shops, too, will get them. Next up, we got Ruby Rose, and she'll be shared with Hot Topic. Brandon Teenage Witch will be shared with Hot Topic as well. 
the vegan police from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World will be shared with Funko Shop. Sigmund from Sigmund and the Sea Monsters will be shared with the Funko Shop. Johnny Rico will be shared with GameStop from Starship Troopers. This gold Demogorgon, which is on my radar, will be shared with Barnes & Noble. And it's from Stranger Things. Next up, we have Scott Howard, Teen Wolf, and he'll be shared with Target. We got Raj as Aquaman, Sheldon as The Flash, Howard as Batman, Penny as Wonder Woman, and Le Leonard as Green Lantern, which will all be shared with Walmart. And then we got the Black Cauldron 2-pack, which will be shared with Amazon. Cisco Ray Ramon, which will be shared with Hot Topic. Poppy the Hopperoo. And Baby Puss will be shared with the Funko Shop. The Green Kato from the Green Hornet will be shared with Toy Tokyo. Quasimodo holding Gargoyle from the Hunchback of Notre Dame will be shared with Hot Topic. This two pack Glow in the Dark Kang and Kudos will be shared with. From the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror will be shared with GameStop. Chuckles will be shared with Amazon. He's from Toy Story. Mr. Pickle Pants from Toy Story will be shared with Hot Topic. This Glow in the Dark Ultraman will be shared with Toy Tokyo. We also got Carl and Ellie from Box from Up, which will be shared with Box Lunch. Um, we got Lazy Luke and Sergeant Blast from, from Rocky Races, which will be shared with the Funko Shop. And we got a Target exclusive Derek Zoolander as a merman. Merman, that is that is kind of weird, but you know, it happens. <laughs> but I'm gonna also go over the the non Funko Pops, which do include two Hellboy five star figures, Abe Sapien and Hellboy, which will both be shared with GameStop. We got a vinyl two pack of Quisp and Quake, which will be shared with the Funko Shop. We also got a Super Conan cereal, which will be shared with GameStop. And for the pet suspensions, we got the Toucan from San Diego Comic Con and the Banana Splits, which will all be shared with, which will which will all be shared with the Funko Shop. And we got the Big Bang Theory T-shirts, which will be shared. We got the Big Bang Theory T-shirts, which will be shared with Walmart, with Walmart, the Flash, and the Bazinga T-shirt. And we got the Skateboard Deck, which will be shared with GameStop of My Hero Academia. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, com comment, 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 and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.